Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to model a matte foundation in STAD Foundation Advanced for an imported STAD Pro superstructure. Once the analyzed superstructure has been successfully imported into STAD Foundation Advanced, you can begin modeling the matte foundation system. In the ribbon toolbar, click on the Geometry tab. Notice that STAD Foundation Advanced provides several tools to create matte foundations graphically or through tabular format. For this exercise, our goal is to create a hexagonal mat with an offset of 5 feet from the center line of supports. Considering this, let's use the fence tool to create a matte foundation around the columns with a fixed offset from each. After clicking on the fence icon, Turn your attention to the Create Mat Along Fence dialog in the data area to enter the mat foundation parameters. Let's start with the geometry parameters. By default, all support columns are selected and included in the proposed mat foundation when using the fence command. If you have supported columns at different levels, you can select the appropriate columns in the Options pull-down menu. You can also review the nodes that coordinate with the base of the columns. To finish off the geometry parameters, specify the offset value. For this example, we will specify a 5-foot offset. Now, let's enter the general map properties, starting with the column alignment. This parameter is used to specify if the column is connected to the top or bottom surface of the map foundation. The column reactions are always applied to the foundation at the base of the supported columns. For this exercise, we will specify the column alignment as top align. The next parameter is the fixed level of foundation, which will be used to specify which level of the foundation will remain fixed if the thickness of the foundation changes. For this exercise, let's specify the elevation of the top of the foundation is fixed. Since we specified that the top of the foundation is fixed, we will also specify the elevation for the top of the foundation. For this example, the top of our mat foundation will be at y equals negative 2 feet. For this structure, the bottom of the supported columns is at y equals 0 feet, and the top of the mat foundation is at y equals negative 2 feet, which means that there will be a gap between the base of the steel columns, and the top of the mat foundation. For this structure, we will add concrete pedestals below the steel columns. When pedestals are created, STAD Foundation Advanced will use the size and beta angle of the steel columns to determine the initial section properties for each pedestal. The size of the pedestal, along with other mat foundation parameters, can be modified after the mat foundation is created. Finally, we will enter the thickness of the foundation. For this structure, let's set the initial mat foundation thickness as 18 inches. Now that the mat foundation parameters are complete, click on the Create button to officially create the mat foundation below the support columns. This concludes the process for modeling mat foundations in STAD Foundation Advanced for an imported STAD Pro superstructure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.